how's it going guys, Wonafo here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the newest scripts for Murders vs. Sheriff's Duels. And these scripts have kill all, auto farms for wins, hitbox expanders, and so much more, so if you're looking for them, all the links will be in the description. But before you actually use any of these scripts, you're going to first need a working executor to run them. And the best working executor right now that has no keys is going to be Vega X. If you come over here to the script hub as well, you could just look for these scripts directly in here. But yeah, starting over here on Kenny's script and Emptiness Hub, these are the two best scripts right now. I'm going to join up into this 4v4 game really quick and show you how to use them. If you are trying to just like troll around in the game, you can use this script. Just click the J key. Boom. It's going to instantly kill everybody on the other team, as you can see. Or you could do a silent aim just like this, which is now only going to kill them 40% of the time right here. So if I shoot, okay, so as you can see, this is kind of how it works. You just jump around shooting people. So if you want to look a little bit more legit, you could use silent aim or you could just kill everybody. You can also come over here and do an infinite jump, no clip, fly, stuff like that. But if you're trying to auto farm, you are going to need to use the Kenyal script because this one has an auto join. So if you want to automatically join 1v1s, for example, it'll do that. You can also automatically kill everybody. As you could probably guess, you just click on this auto kill v1. It kills every single person in the entire other team every time the match starts. Boom. Instant kill. Instantly die again. They're just going to keep on dying. And then there we go. We walk away with a win. So you could just use this if you want to. But if you come over here and click on auto 1v1 join... As you can see, boom, it's going to start teleporting us here in a couple seconds. Now we're on the 1v1 board. It's going to wait for somebody to join. And then you could just use this right here. Or if you want to troll, you could teleport back to the lobby after the game starts. And they're just never going to be able to kill you. So I could just sit here now and wait for this person to leave the game. And I mean, that's usually what happens. Because if they can't find you in the map, they'll just give up and leave. But yeah, anyways, moving on over here to the third script. This is going to be Oasis Hub. Which, as you can see, you have the Enable Hitbox, which is going to be a Hitbox Expander. So I could turn this on now and start killing this guy from further away. There we go. As you can see, I killed him with my knife in that red box. So anywhere in this red box, you're going to be able to kill them. So let's try it with the smaller hitbox now. Let's walk up to him. And you should be able to kill people with a, a knife more easier than a gun. We should be somewhere around here. Yep, I saw him right here. Let's increase it a little bit to like 10. There we go. We should be able to kill him now. I'm not sure where he went. Let's look around... Okay, here he is. So we could like throw our knife or something. I don't know if the, yeah, the, the gun also works for this as well. But in my opinion, if you're going to be using the gun, you should just probably use a silent aim because it looks a little bit more legit. You also have a kill one, which is only going to kill one player on the other team at a time. And that's going to be with the R key. You can also do a lag simulator, which is going to make it look like you're lagging. So if I make it like five on their screen, it's going to look like I'm lagging a lot. As you can see, it looks like my FPS is kind of low. Kind of a cool feature, you could just blame your um, mistakes on lag, I guess. I don't know why else you would want to use that. Let's try to kill him here. And boom, he's dead. Over here on this script, you also have an ESP, so I can see people through the walls now. And there he is right there, as you can see, that little gray box. You can also change the color, so I can make it a 300, 300, 300. Boom, now he's red. Yeah, kind of easy if you just want to like see people through the map you could do a fill transparency so you can make it like extra transparent or extra not transparent you could have the local player tab which is the same thing over here on the universal tab you could do infinite jump no clip with e so i could walk through walls now oops i guess you die if you walk through walls you have the g key which is going to be fly pretty cool feature here you could just fly around the map killing people you can hide the gui close the gui you can teleport to anybody in the game Come over here, you can also block your X and Y position. I'm not sure exactly what you what you'd use this to um, for. You also have these two buttons here. Do not click them. It kind of messes up your screen. This tab over here I already showed you guys. And then on the Kenny Hill script, you also have a speed. So if you want to walk around really fast, you could just change this. Speed around the map. I don't really know why you'd want to use this in this game, but it's still a pretty fun feature to have. Into AFK, of course, you want to have that on so you don't get kicked while you're auto farming. And that's going to be especially useful on this script because this is the one with the auto farm on it. And if you really are just trying to auto farm this game, the only script you need is the Kenyal script. So I think I might put this in like the first or second link in the description. And it's going to tell you right here, this is how you auto farm. So just leave the auto kill and auto join booth, auto join both on at the same time. I mean, you can choose which one you want to use, but if you're trying to just get a bunch of wins, I definitely recommend you do the 1v1s because it's a lot faster. I mean, as you can see right here, someone should probably join within a couple seconds of me going in here. There's someone right now. And yeah, anyways, that's pretty much all there is on these scripts. I mean, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.